To get started, and I'd like to make an Instagram post with this video. All right, let's begin by right-clicking in the project panel and then go to new item sequence in here. Just select one of the 1080p digital SLR presets as a starting point. And next, let's go over to the settings tab. Okay, the main thing you're going to want to do in here is change the frame size to 1080 by 1350 to get the nice full screen videos you see on Instagram. I'll also put up some details on the screen for alternative resolutions. If you're looking for something different, another thing you might want to adjust is a time base to match the FPS of your video's content. But I'll leave mine alone since it's already the same as my videos. Once you're done with this, you can go ahead and hit OK. All right, now simply drag your video footage onto your new sequence for the pop-up. Be sure to click Keep Existing Settings to keep the Instagram resolution. Now you should have your video in your new sequence. Okay, next. Let's double-click our video in the preview to reveal its sizing handles. Drag the handles to resize the video to your liking and drag inside the video to move it so you can center the part you want in the frame. Okay, this is looking good. So let's export this by using the Control m keyboard shortcut or Command m on Mac. For the export, you'll want to set the format to H.264. Then make sure you're using one of the match source presets to maintain your Instagram-friendly resolution. Okay, that's it for the Instagram-specific settings. So just click export to finish the job. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.